Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. I've heard of that country. Me too. Where is Canada? Well, here's the United States, and here's Canada right above. Now it's your turn to spin it, Sean. Okay, here goes the globe. Round and round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Let's see. It's Scotland. I haven't heard of that country. Do you think people who live there talk like we do? Well, maybe, but lots of different countries have their own languages, and their words don't sound like ours. I wonder if their clothes are different, too. Or their music. Well, you can learn about faraway places and their people from books. I know we've been doing that in class this week, but I wish we could fly to other countries and see them ourselves. Oh, you wish you could. <laughs> if we use our imaginations, we can go anywhere. Can we really visit other countries? Can we? Sure we can. I have lots of friends all over the world who would love to meet you. <laughs> then why don't we make a pretend airplane and fly away to meet you? Oh, That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Everybody, light up your seats. Thank Here you. we go. You're welcome. Oh, I love to fly. Yeah, oh boy, I wonder where we're going. I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. Barney, where are we going first? Oh, that's a surprise, Lucy. Okay, Captain, we're ready for takeoff. Then fasten your seatbelts, and away we'll go! like we're circling for our first country. Prepare for landing! Oh, <laughs> Greetings, Barney, Hi. and lassies and laddies. Welcome to Scotland. Barney, that's the country that I picked on the globe. Oh, good for you, Sean. 
<laughs> Fun. Who's Fun? That's just a little Scottish greeting I use with my friend, Fergus McLennan. Fergus, I'd like you to meet my friends, Lucy, Min, Derek, and Sean. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Any friends of Barney's are friends of mine. Oh. Nice, 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 too. Now, where was Scotland? Well, Derek, you live here in the United States, and you've flown all the way over here to Scotland. Oh, oh that's a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Barney, why is he wearing a scarf? Oh, that's called a kilt, Sean. And sometimes men who live in Scotland wear one on special days. Hey, that's right, Barney. And meeting friends of Barney's makes this a very special day. But <laughs> most of the time, we dress pretty much like you do. Mr. McLaren, what's that? That's a bagpipe, Lassie. We play music on it. Barney, would you like to try playing it? Oh, <laughs> I think we'd rather hear you play, Fergus. Yeah, <laughs> would you? Would. Well, I'll be happy to play for you. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> I love bagpipes. <laughs> group of dancers, kids. What's a Barney group, Barney? Oh, that's Mr. McLaren's way of saying you were very good. All right. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. McLaren. We think you're a Barney bagpipe player. <laughs> thank you, Lassie. <laughs> well, we'd better say goodbye to Mr. McLaren for now. We have other countries to visit. Thank you. Bye. 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 It's about Scotland. Uh, my pleasure. Come and visit me anytime. Shalom, Leslie. Shalom, Barney. Shalom, Yeladim. What'd you say, Barney? That's the way people here in Israel say, hello, children. Wow, we're in Israel? Where's that? We were in Scotland before we came here. Well then, from Scotland, you flew all the way over here to Israel. That's right. I'd like you all to meet my friend, Leslie Chudnow. Leslie, these are my friends Lucy, Min, Derek, and Sean. I'm glad you're here. And we're happy to be here and meet you. You know, Lucy, we have a song here called Hava Nagila, which means we are happy to be here together. Oh, that's for sure. Then come <laughs> dance with me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila, Ve. It sure is, because singing and dancing it makes us even happier. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's time for us to go now, Leslie. Thanks for visiting me. Come again. Okay. okay. <laughs> Shalom, everyone. Shalom. But doesn't that mean hello? Shalom does mean hello, Min, but it also means goodbye and peace. Oh, I get it. Shalom. 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 Lahitraot. Ani ochevet otchem. Love you too. Bye -bye. Shalom, shalom. 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 Shalom.
Tony, welcome to Africa. Why, thank you. Hey, everyone. I want you to meet my friend, Ife Amani. Ife, these are my friends Lucy, Min, Derek, and Sean. Alafia, it's nice to meet you all. You too. Okay, <laughs> let's see. We came from Israel, and now you are in Africa. That flag is from my country, Nigeria, which is in Africa. <laughs> Mrs. Amani, I think your African clothes are pretty. Oh, thank you. Women in Africa have worn dresses like this for many, many years. You know, Ife is very good at telling stories. Would you please tell us one now? Oh, I would love to. Oh, boy. Oh, I love stories. <laughs> there was once an ant, and this ant was out on a journey. And it was this ant's lucky day because he came upon a crumb this big with great jelly all over it. Oh, he was so happy and so excited to have found this wonderful, delicious crumb. He knew that if he could get this crumb home to his family, oh, they would all love to eat of this crumb. So he got behind the crumb and he pushed. Oh, then he pulled. Oh, and then he pushed. Oh, and then he pulled. Oh, but it wouldn't move. The crumb was much too heavy for him to, to carry all the way home all by himself. Well, there was a, a bee flying by, and he called out, Bee, oh bee, will you please help me get this wonderful, delicious crumb home to my family? And the bee said, Can't you see all this pollen on my back? I'm getting home to my family. And he went on by. Well, he was so angry, the ant stood back up. He got behind the crumb, and he pushed... Oh, and then he pulled. Oh, and then he pushed. Oh, but it still wouldn't move. Well, he was going to give up. But then there was a beetle. You know about the beetle. The beetle is very, very tricky. The beetle, he saw the beetle coming. He said, oh, beetle, beetle, will you please help me with this crumb, this wonderful, delicious crumb. Get it home to my family. Well, do you know what the beetle did? The beetle walked right up to the crumb. He took a bite out of it. <laughs> chewed it up. Swallowed it and said, there, I've made it lighter for you, haven't I? And he <laughs> went on his way. Oh, he didn't help at all. Well, the ant stood back up and he pushed. And then he pulled. And then he pushed. Oh, but he still couldn't do it. He said, I just can't do it. I just can't do it all by myself. He sat down. Well, there was a spider in a tree. And the spider, she came down. And she sat next to the ant. And she said, well, ant. If you will not take that crumb home to your family, I will surely take it home to mine. Well, the ant stood up and he said, no, no, this is my crumb. I found this crumb. He got behind the crumb and he pushed. And then he pulled. And then he pushed. And then he pulled. And then he pushed. And then he stopped. He looked around. And he was at home. He had pushed that crumb all the way home. All his family saw the crumb. They were so excited and so happy. Well, the ant looked back, and there was the spider. And she said, I knew you could do it, just as I know you can do it, too. Oh, yeah. that was wonderful. That's a great story. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, Ife, why don't we teach the children an African song? Oh, yes, I know a song. It's, uh, it has a game that you play with it. It's like musical chairs. Oh, oh Barney, will you pass me the stick? Oh, why, certainly. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. We make a circle. Uh-huh. We pass the stick around in the circle. The one who's holding the stick at the end of the verse is the one who's out. Oh. <laughs> Umbura, Umbura, Umbura yet tomorrow. Umbura yet tomorrow. Yana, 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 yana. Umbura, Umbura, Umbura yet tomorrow. Ya 
to join us the celebration and do a Chinese New Year dance. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, now, the, the dance telling a story about the sun up in the sky and a dragon. Oh, oh, a dragon. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, Barney, would you like to play the sun? Okay. Yeah, and Lucy, the others, how would you like to play a dragon? Oh, oh, yeah. oh a dragon. Oh, <laughs> The story of the Chinese New Year dance. The dragon sleeps in his cave throughout the cold winter. When the new year arrives, the sunlight wakes the dragon in his dark cave. The dragon is hungry and wants to eat the sun, so he chases it. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. But no matter how hard the dragon tries, he can never catch the sun. <laughs> well, I believe it. It's hard to see where you're going under there. <laughs> wow, you kids did a wonderful job telling the story. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Chen, for letting us celebrate Chinese New Year with you. I like being the dragon and chasing the sun. Yeah, you sure had a fun, didn't you? We did. Well, kids. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody, and come visit me pretty soon. Okay, okay we you. will. Bye. Thank you. Watch out, Barney. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here comes that dragon again. <laughs> oh, 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 look out. Oh, oh, you look so fierce. Oh, 
Bunny. Bienvenido. Gracias. And good day to you, señor. I'd like everybody to meet my friend, Abundio Ortiz. And I'm happy to meet all of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ortiz. You brought us to Mexico. Uh -huh. That's right. You came all the way from China to Mexico. You see, Mexico's a country very close to where you live here in the United States. We learned about Mexico in school the other day. Did you learn about our music? Yes, and I love dancing to Mexican music. Me too. Then you'll love La Raspa. It's a popular dance number in Mexico. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Sometimes they play that song great baseball games when my dad takes me. And all the people clap just like we did. But I never knew it was a Mexican song. Lots of our favorite songs and stories have come to us from other countries. You know, my grandparents live in Mexico. And my grandfather taught me how to sing De Colores. It's a very pretty song about colors. I know that song. Senor Ortiz, will you sing it with me in Spanish? Of oh, boy. <laughs> De colores, de colores se visten los campos y la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen de afuera. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well, we better fly back home, everybody. Gracias for playing your guitar for us, Senor Ortiz. We all had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure I had fun, too. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Nos vemos. Bye-bye. So long. Adios. Oh, oh, oh. Barney, that was a great trip around the world. I had a stupendous time, too. <laughs> I never knew there were so many different countries and languages and music. Oh, there are many more countries than those we visited today, Min. And I have friends in all of them. Well, there might be a lot of different countries in the world. But I know one song everyone all over the world can sing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ho, 
Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We used our imaginations to fly around the world and visit many different people in many different lands. Our first stop was the country of Scotland, where we heard our friend Fergus McLaren play a very special instrument called bagpipes. We danced a Highland fling to his music. Ooh. The next country we visited was Israel, where Leslie Chudnow taught us to sing Hava Nagila and dance along with it. In Africa, our friend Ife Amani told us a wonderful story about a little teeny ant and a very big breadcrumb. And we played an African game called Umbura. I've never played a game with a stick before. <laughs> and Gloria Chen showed us how the people in China celebrate the new year. We played with streamers. Oh, and it was lots of fun acting out the story of the dragon chasing the sun. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> In Mexico, my friend Abundio Ortiz played his guitar and taught us a wonderful song about colors. It's fun to learn different things about people around the world. Sometimes our clothes are different, or our words sound different, or we play music on different instruments. And our dances can be different too. But there's one thing everyone can do the same all over the world. And that's love each other. And remember, I love you too. favorite dino starring in his very first cosmic adventure, Barney in Outer Space. When Barney and his friends discover a new friend on another planet, they zoom off to meet her, learning about the wonders of the universe all along the way. We're in outer space, all right. Come along as these space cadets explore new worlds and make new friends, including a real live astronaut. Our spaceship has a guest. <laughs> With plenty of great songs and lots of imagination, it's an adventure you won't soon forget. So grab your spacesuits, because this super de duper spaceship is about to blast off. Don't miss Barney in Outer Space, now available on home video from Lyric Studios. The Wild West. It bred a special kind of man. From that land came a hero never seen before. Hello! Join Wishbone, a little dog with a big imagination, as he proves some of the best cowboys have more than two legs and can carry a pretty good tune. But heroes weren't just in the Wild West. Does Wanda Gilmore rightfully own the Oakdale Chronicle? I wish we could do something. 
Maybe we need to do a little investigating of our own. Join Wishbone for action. Adventure. I don't have a gun. And food, food, and more food. In his first feature-length presentation, Wishbone's Dog Days of the West. Not so far away, there's a wonderful wetland where nature comes alive like never before. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It's a magical place full of laughs, songs, and lots of friends. I am Hankish, explorer extraordinaire. Welcome to Groundling Marsh, home to some of Mother Nature's most delightfully unusual characters. Join Galileo and Maggie, Echo and Crystal, Mudslinger and Hegdish. Did somebody mention my name? And Stax, as they share an adventure after adventure and learn many valuable lessons. How do you feel about sharing merry go pop with Maggie? Get ready for plenty of laughs and a whole lot of fun when you come on down to Groundling Marsh, living proof that Mother Nature has a sense of humor. <laughs> Don't miss Groundling Marsh now on public television. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Check your local listings or call your public television station for the viewing time in your area. And watch for Groundling Marsh on home video from Lyric Studios. Groundling Marsh. She's by my side. It's nice outside. All right, concentrate. I met her in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. In my pajamas. All right, in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. <laughs> First day of school, my teacher said, why don't you draw a picture for your parents? So I drew a picture of an alligator and I named him Terrence. When I gave that picture to my mom, she said, I love pink alligators. Then she bought some magnets and she put my picture on the refrigerator. And she said she put it there So that everyone would see How much she liked my picture And how proud she is of me Now when the teacher asks me Why a drawing takes so long I said it's a refrigerator picture for my mom. Refrigerator. Refrigerator picture for my mom. It certainly is a great day for counting, so let's go! If you love great stories... I can show you where to look. Big dinosaurs... Whoa! <laughs> Am I big enough? ...and a whole lot of numbers... Hey, everyone, I found the number two in Texas! Then get ready, because... It's time for counting! The newest home video from Barney. Come on, let's practice one, two, three. When the numbers on Stella the Storyteller's alarm clock wind up missing... Most of the numbers are missing. It's up to Barney and all his friends to help her find them. Great yeah. idea. Let's go. Get ready for lots of wonderful stories. Once upon a time, in the wall of a farmer's cottage, plus fun and music four. galore, and great numbers like 12, 9, and 4. That's a kitschy little rhyme. <laughs> Learning how to count has never been this much fun. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Don't miss It's Time for Counting, now on home video from Lyric Studios.